Hey guys, welcome to what I'm sure will be the shortest video ever on my channel. Um, today I am doing my universal haul. Now the reason there are air quotes around that is because I didn't actually go to Universal well, was in Florida, we just ran out of time. Um, so what I picked up is actually from the Universal shop at the airport. Um, I only got four things but yeah, some people were asking to see them so I thought I would just make a video really quickly. The first thing and if you've watched my September favourites video you'll know my favourite thing is my Dobby. He was $30 plus tax um, and he's just so cute. I love him so so much. The only irritating thing is like he doesn't stand. You can see his feet are like raised kind of like that um, and there wasn't any stands to purchase at the um, shop that you could stand him on. I don't know maybe within Universal Studios if there would have been a stand that you could buy for him. Um, but there wasn't one in it. I would have thought to be honest she would have sold the two together kind of thing if there was so there wasn't a stand anyway at the airport shop so you need to kind of prop him up against things but I just think he is adorable. I love him so so much. Um, yeah. How could you not love that face? The next thing I got is this little model of the Hogwarts Express. This was $12.95 again plus tax probably like $14 or something um, and yeah I just thought this was really cute. I think like both Dobby and this will look nice on my bookshelves when my loft conversion is finally done and I have my filming background up there with my books on my shelves behind me and yeah I'm going to put little things in about them so I'm really excited for that and I think they will both look really lovely in the backgrounds of my videos. Next thing is also for when my loft conversion is done and it's going to be a pen holder on my desk. Um, it's a mug. It's very well wrapped up so they definitely, if you're buying anything that's tall breakable, they definitely protect it for you. I didn't buy Ravenclaw robes and a Ravenclaw headband and a Ravenclaw tie even though I was like very very close to it. I think I will really get them at one point but I had no dollars left in cash I would have been putting it on my card and that makes it more like real money rather than just like fake money that you spend on holidays so I couldn't really justify them at the end of the holiday this time around given how much I'd already spent on holiday um, but definitely going to end up with them at some point but I did decide to show a little bit of house pride and get this so this is a Ravenclaw mug but I'd say I'm going to be using this as a pen holder I don't I don't feel like I would like this as a mug um, it's really big uh, and it is in relation to my head and it's heavy and it's like thick it's not like a little kind of like looks big but it's quite light and stuff mug like it is actually quite heavy and it's got Ravenclaw on it and then it's got the ravens on the side and on the handle there as well and I just think it's, it says Ravenclaw there as well and there and it's just yeah beautiful beautiful mug. This was $24.95 so like $25 plus tax so probably one of the more expensive mug items that you can get but yeah I think it's lovely and I think it will look really nice on my desk with all my pens in it. And the last thing I got is a little thing in this bag and again it's another Ravenclaw item and it's just this little Ravenclaw pin so I actually bought a folder while well, I was in Disney World for the Disney pins that I've been buying. Um, I don't do like pin trading it and I didn't really think I collected pins until I realised how many pins I buy so I think I do kind of collect them but not in a conscious way but yeah so I thought this could go in my folder and that way I would keep it safe although I do really like the actual backing that it's on so I might just try and stick this into the folder through this little hole here um, and keep the whole thing so this was 9 95 plus tax so um, probably a little bit expensive for a badge that I'm never going to do anything with like this is the thing about pin trading or pen collecting is it's like you're collecting things that you don't use or need or really ever look at but yeah I just kind of had to have it when I saw it so that is my Ravenclaw pin. The items that I've got with the Ravenclaw stuff on it you can obviously get for all four houses and um, they had some really lovely phone covers as well that I would have really liked but they didn't have them for the 6 plus in the airport shop I don't know about actual Universal but yeah so definitely next time we go to Florida I have to actually get to Universal um, but we've just run out of time both times and it's not, I love Harry Potter so much that I'm not willing to go and try, try and like rush it in a morning or something like I want to book into a Universal Hotel for the night like be able to get early access the next morning go in and really enjoy myself um, and really just get immersed in the experience so that's why I've still not actually been but I did buy that stuff at the airport so I hope you enjoyed seeing that anyway obviously there would be more stuff available in the actual uh, Universal shop but 
that is what kind of stuff you can get at the airport. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I will speak to you soon. Bye.